Whoop, that's the button. Hey, nerds, what up? It's been a hot minute. Uh, I suppose this is a good time to be mentioned, to, lost my ability to speak, man. I didn't socialize a lot before this whole lockdown thing, and now I don't socialize at all. Great. I should mention that tonight I am going to be joined by one Serb. Oh, it him. Ooh. Whoop, there you are. Hello. All right, uh, let me see if I remember how to do this. How to, how to stream from YouTube? Where, where is my John YouTube button? Oh, I remember I have this button. Does this still work? Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. I turned off the stream so I don't hear myself. Mm. I remembered I have a button uh, to do um, full full uh, menacing Dio color scheme, inverted stand attack colors. Oh my. Yeah, I put like way too much effort into that um and i haven't streamed since i reinstalled windows and lost my goddamn bootloader did i tell you about that no i reinstalled windows and windows is built in like hey reinstall the os option uh succeeded exclusively in deleting my bootloader that was <laughs> all it did didn't do anything else it was great Oh, all right. So I guess I should mention uh, I'm too lazy to lug my PS4 into my room. So I'm just watching this on YouTube because it's a movie. He owns the disc. I own the... This is allowed. Don't tell Sir, but I, I didn't buy the physical copy. <laughs> it's two, two point... <laughs> Is 2.8 even on physical? Probably somewhere. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't buy the games because I already have them. This is fair. This is fair. Uh, yeah, so this is just... I'm doing... Here's here's your credits. Professia Gaming. Good stuff. They probably have spoiled many boss fights for me in recommendations. I hate YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to hit go. I'm going to give like a one, two, three, and hit play on go. Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, three, two, one, go. Easy. We did it. Oh, you get to listen to Tirithy at the start. Tirithy? Uh, oh, wait, no, you get to try to read this at the start. Yes, yeah, I, uh, I saw like five seconds of this. So, what you need to know is that there is there was a mobile game that was only released in Japan and is currently shut down and is not coming back. And that was... This movie is the story that happens during that video game, except from the perspective of the characters and not the shitty infinite MMO player characters. Is this what the graphics of the MMO looked like? Yeah, uh, it, yeah, it was a phone. This is. This was pre-smartphone too. Oh, okay. You, in one word, took me from like, wow, this is very early Flash to oh, okay, that's impressive. Yeah, uh, this this was uh, basically yeah, it was Flash. Also, there um, so there's another one. Uh, of these that is currently online, uh, but we'll explain that later. Okay. Also, Ponce or anyone else in chat, please let me know if I need to adjust audio levels. I will do my best. Oh, you should read those words, too. Uh, I'm doing my best, but it's... Yeah. They're fast, and there's a lot of them. Bottom right goes to top left every time it changes. Bottom Wait, so I have to read bottom right first? Read top left. Oh, okay. Read top left only. Okay.
Oh man, this is speed reading. World of Pure Darkness. Uh, six Apprentices, five read the manuscript. Don't dead open inside. <laughs> Little bit. Were these cutscenes made for this? This movie. So that makes you the indisposable was made for number this. seven. Okay. Huh. Because the video game doesn't exist anymore. It's right. Simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No. Uh, um. Here, take it. Blade. In the master's playful and mischievous way. Oh boy, that's his apprentice Lucian. That's a voice actor. A very important role. Welcome to Tirithi. <laughs> oh no. It seemed like a simple task. Was the element that would connect all of the events to come. Did you um did you ever play Oh god, what is that Tales game called? Tales of the Abyss? Yes. Not Tales long, of the Abyss. What am I thinking ago, of? Uh All the worlds were still one. One Dust day, in Elysian Tale? This would be no, not that an one. Age of fairy tales. <laughs> that game's real good. But it boy, your your little hint fairy character Daybreak sounds Town. like this. The master of masters had an eye that gazes Hey, I know that future. name. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. Also, my coaster setup is busted right now because I got all of the drinks that I'm going to drink throughout this movie, which is really the drink so, I was drinking and a cup of tea. Book. Yes. But I had to stack them. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Oh, I know that Master, voice actor. Is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? Fade? I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. <laughs> it's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected. Stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light. This is really well one animated, thing. I do have to say. Oh, yeah. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts. Yep. That's the name of the game. Right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. That is why you granted us these keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that fated land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Is this before Isn't the Keyblade War? Duty as Keyblade wielders yep. to prevent this oh, from wow, okay. Place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But, what about all of those who are here now? And, the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? 
Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on. Are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? You bet it's movie night. We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, Grab your popcorn, friends. You give it a shot. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck. And so the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the Unicorn, I do like Era's uh, mask. mask. That's extremely good. Oh yeah. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the Snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. Thank you, Izzy. I actually haven't really been the gone. Venus I've just been lazy. Who wore the mask of the Bear and anxious was given his role to support their brand new leader, Era. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, oh, was no, given she's cute. her role to prepare exceptional uh -oh. wielders. <laughs> I should have expected this. <laughs> cool <laughs> you fool, you know what you've introduced me to. Was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lushu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Oh, that box. That's a suspicious box. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is Serb, by the way. Oh, is that your player character? Oh, that's that's Mr. Player character, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I had blue hair this whole time. armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. So, in Kingdom Hearts, uh, Cross, they set out to you rally joined one of the five unions. Like you. I was and gonna say, wait, I know Union Cross. Uh, collecting, um, uh, collecting light, lux, whatever they called it. Gotcha. Hey, I feel you there, Ponce. There's a traitor among us. Whoa. Are you certain? What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. <laughs> That's that just a cat, dude. A dark charity? <laughs> uh, is that a nightmare? <gasps> oh god, this music. We're back. Immediate flashbacks. <laughs> Master, did you make this? Oh, you thought they were a one off. So cute. Oh, you poor boy. <gasps> well, things are going to get pretty hectic around here soon. Water pinball! Spirit no! He's going to make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable I felt so bad for my neighbors one Sunday when I just like so play nice. dived in and like oh, tried to grind before I forget uh dream drop distance if a wielder is overcome by uh, darkness, nightmares or rather if their heart is for like a full darkness, day their adorable little spirit will turn dark and that song just nightmare. nonstop so you're telling us that if we see a nightmare Someone has fallen into darkness. Reminder that Heartless exactly. do not exist yet. Yep. You don't stop this renegade spirit. Because they the were invented like a year and before Kingdom Hearts 1, and nobody ever really heads. talks about that fact. Beware. So, if we see one of these just nightmares anywhere, we a have a massive to pandemic. No! I won't let When you would do that, that ever make the news? No wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? 
Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm. Ugh, don't insult me. Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. It's not me. There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, I believe those tools were the nightmares doing. The bangles? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. That main guy's Everyone's already equipped their bangles. Voice is really familiar. So what now? But I can't place it. How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Yeah. Ira. Ira. Some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What? Did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? That was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I know this probably tracks since, you know, Final yeah. Fantasy and all. I hope we can all resolve this. But like the location aesthetics in this game very much remind me of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Well, that didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? It could be the same this location. Isn't like you. Theoretically, oh, yes. Something's missing from our book of prophecies. Final Each Fantasy of does a lot of <laughs> dimensional nonsense. Don't forget that uh, Kingdom Hearts is canon with Super Mario this because incident... Wreck-It Ralph is in it now. It's nowhere to be found. Oh my god. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie You're together? right. Oh like no. I said, it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> in my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and the page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned, that they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, could this have been the master's plan all along? to grant the lost page to only one of us. We have no way of knowing. Does Master's footage of the gone. gameplay of this game exist I anywhere? What you were saying. Probably. I've never looked I for it because this is all of the lore that we require. We'll keep yeah. Informed, as always. I'm just like, the fact that it was like Thanks. a pre-smartphone phone After game, all, the, the, like MMO. The rest is, is like, me. play through Kingdom Hearts 1 again, except it's a shitty gotcha game. And Ira, <laughs> may your heart be your guiding key. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. But, but also, also be sad about the Keyblade War. Yes. Never forget. 
case of envy. So to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Was that last one a uh, case of mm. era? Like I said, yeah. Era may have okay. to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people Ponce. get along. Physics is convoluted in Kingdom Hearts. But without you or Lushu, it's it's to fairy magic. Maintain our own unions is it's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want me to go? What? N no, of course not. Oh no. <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Is that Quentin Flynn? Look, I, I get the change can be hard for um, but he is things need to uh, keep moving forward. And you he, he, need to keep up. I, I believe he Otherwise, is Joseph. Just get left behind Jojo. All alone. Oh, that's right. We had <laughs> we we had this yeah. conversation. What does your heart say? <laughs> that moment your that we figured out that there is like the Venn diagram of Kingdom Hearts we'll voice actors and JoJo do. voice actors your is a complete circle. Right. right. Who? Somebody was Dio. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember anymore. I was wrong about Ira. I thought he would make a great leader, but he let me down. Well, what do you two think? You don't believe what Ira said, do you? Of course not. His argument was unconvincing. It's like Inby said. He's just making baseless assumptions given the situation. There's no evidence to tie his accusations to anyone, let alone one of us. <sighs> Maybe... There's something he hasn't told us. And he needs to tell us. How dare he look at us with suspicion? We're his comrades. I wouldn't call us comrades. Anyway, <laughs> could you get to the point? <laughs> I know you didn't call us here just to complain. I want the I don't know why, but that was just an such alliance. a fantastic, alliance very subtle burn. <laughs> I knew it. I had a feeling it would come to this. So... We join forces, then confront Ira. Confronting him is pointless. Ira won't change his mind. I know there's <sighs> okay. darkness at Switching work. to T. There's no question. But I don't believe for a second there's a traitor among us. Unfortunately, Ira doesn't share the same belief. He's Once I was sipping on a gin and tonic, to now I am switching is. to a uh, an the herbal chamomile blend. And neither should we. Which apparently has catnip in it. And find Fun fact. Uh, guess it makes sense. I agree that we need to do something to fight the darkness. But combining our unions? That was strictly forbidden by the Master. He's no longer here. I'm in. But let's be clear. The Alliance is just between the two of us right now. I don't want my union members involved. I want I want to follow the master's teachings understood that's your choice to make you should do whatever you feel is right yeah oh no is the master Jimmy By Hoffa the way, <laughs> do Ira and Envy know I haven't talked to Ira about it for obvious reasons but I did ask Envy to join us you wanted to see me? Gula, Ava, what are you doing here? What's the meaning of this? Hear me out, Envy. If I say that I Ava is my favorite, am I going unions. to get the big sad? Gula here has already agreed. Will you join Think us? Think about Together the we can franchise you're teachings? currently watching. We don't have a choice. No matter who I pick as my favorite, I'm going to get the big sad. Got it. strength to stand against it. The master bestowed each of us with a different role, and he specifically told us to keep our union separate, to maintain the balance of power. He told us that any imbalance would lead to a desire for more power, which leads to darkness. I know you haven't forgotten. 
Perhaps it's you who has been tainted by darkness. Bust out the accusations. I'm Let's go. By darkness? Then what about you, Envy? You spy on us and report everything you see back to Ira. You really think you have no darkness in your heart after what you did? Because that is my role. To observe us, yes. But not to disclose everything we say and do to Ira. That's... For all we know, you and Ira could be allies, scheming behind our backs. That's enough. This is a really bad thing to watch after watching the latest episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Because they did a very, like, who's the traitor story. I don't want us to turn against each other. And it was, like... Oh, so the way to protect myself is to just Master throw out Alba. baseless accusations? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Hello. Your name is Ethema, right? It, him. Uh -huh. He's uh, hey, a main uh, character, you? but uh, uh, uh -huh. MMO character. Yeah. He, uh... Why the long face? Did something happen? Oh, God. Who does he remind me of? Character customizer generated MC. Yeah. Do you remember what you asked me before? There's somebody in Final Fantasy 15 about why the unions compete who looks against each other instead of working together. Has the same energy. Actually, doesn't doesn't look anything like this character, but thing. Huh? Isn't it just because the master said so? Yes. And as such we must obey. The master said so. So it is. Lately that cover is basically just Danganronpa really without the murder. That's a hot take. You once told me that you were looking for answers. That you wanted to solve the mysteries of this world. Well, I think that's how things should be. We need to question things and think for ourselves. Whoa! You are really not yourself today. I guess even foretellers have their off days. Hey! Maybe talking about the book will cheer you up. Not a chance. Aww. Oh no, this child is my self-insert character. You were trying to pull a fast one on me, weren't you? Oh, no, no, I was joking. If you say Ponce, so... Ponce, I see it. But, to be honest, I think it would be great if all the unions could work together and be friends. <sighs> Except the police you know, union. I made a friend from another union today. Wasn't much of a talker. Maybe just shy. We're meeting again tomorrow. That sounds like so much fun. Then you'd better go home and get some sleep. Okay. <laughs> well, it was nice talking to oh, you. Oh, Andrew. This is not a cutscene. This is a movie. But please cheer up. Thank you. The worst happens. I'll be glad to leave the future to the kids who see the world in the way that you do. Let the wind carry you far, far away. Oh no, it's I it's the plant girl too. Sir, what have you done to me? Envy. Have you learned something? Look at those things it we know in the book. Said and mm -hmm. unions are now allied. So a said is the traitor after all. No. I don't believe he is. Why is that? To is said, this a book of prophecy or a book of like research? It's prophecy. Okay, cool. So I believe his heart still belongs to the light. Right, right. Even so, forming alliances was strictly forbidden by the master. Yes, and his teachings are absolute. But they all get one, That's but they're all except one missing a page. To dissolve their alliance. Then I'll do it. No, please let me do the talking. Your intervention will do nothing more than spur Asad's anger. Oh yeah, all this right. is Serb. I'll leave it to you. And one more thing, Asad has begun to question the two of us. As a precaution, my reports will be less frequent. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Please understand. Yes, I do. Sorry, I missed that. Who's she worried about? 
uh, um, bear angry at her report. Bear. To you, okay. Right? <laughs> Makes sense. I am. I am identifying them by animal at this point. Still. That's fine. My my name recognition skills are horrendous, even in real life. I think I'm done. Done with what? <laughs> the alliance. I think it's time to call it quits. For what reason? To put it simply, I entered this alliance thinking we were preparing to fight some impending darkness, but it hasn't come. In fact, there haven't been any suspicious incidents recently, and you haven't rallied anyone else to your cause. Yeah, but... This alliance is meaningless. Even Envy agrees. Oh. Envy? Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to find out. Is Envy the one who told you to break our alliance? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm the one who decided to do it. And I've already told you why. But we don't even know who the traitor is yet! <laughs> And that's exactly why. I just can't trust. So Andrew, to catch you up, uh, the, the, basically this organization was like, "Uh oh, big, big early warning own? signs of bad stuff to come." Uh, and uh oh, all of our all of our prophecy books have a page missing. Somebody somebody stole them. So we got a traitor in our midst. Nobody stole the page. They just don't have them. Right, right. Envy. You will regret this. But they, they suspect a traitor in their midst. Because Ira found a, a nightmare. Nightmare, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the enemies from Dream Drop Distance, which are the Heartless before Heartless existed. Right? We'll you been here long. We can go <laughs> into man. detail on that later. No. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts in a nutshell. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding. I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just <laughs> testing you. Uh, right. Oh no, Izzy. Now. Allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well, Ira's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see? So, just stand by me. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master! What do you mean Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying. You really want to be leader, huh? I, well, I know you want it, but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, you, here's a huge promotion, good job, and make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. The sheer amount of charisma settled. coming out Wait, of that cloak I agree is great. That he is worthy, but why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Oh, there's a cutscene well, I have to talk to you about later. <laughs> I'm going to disappear one day. Well. I might disappear. Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Right. 
Andrew, you haven't seen Axel in that case. With your role, but just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Not shall I elaborate? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he's terrible at this. In which case it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs. And that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. It's been over a year since the Master left. It's time for me to fulfill my true role. <laughs> Battle time. God, you're right. Don't be so conceited. <laughs> I'm protecting the balance, just like the master told us That's to. That's very good symbolism. You need to come to your senses. Five petals drifting apart. If we don't do something, light will expire. Then we won't be able to avoid the grim future that awaits. We need to defy the master's teachings to protect the world. You're saying he was wrong? He's not here anymore. I won't let his prophecy come true. I won't let the world fall into darkness. You fool! Oh wait, she has the fool? I see you. Ava, over here. Envy, Asad, what's going on? I found out who the traitor is. Regrettably. No, that's not true. Uh, Ava, there's no time to lose. Be my guiding key. Uh, I believe so. Clever. Yes. Master. Um, oh, Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, I can always come back later. Sure. Oh, no, 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 stay. Now, where? Ah, here it is. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> What's this? Go on, read it. The true unbelievable power is doing it cleanly. This is from the Book of Prophecies. <laughs> but no, no trace yep. left in the. Uh, it's a page that's not in any of the your books. books. And what's written here is. 
You're wrong. You must find the traitor hidden among you and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant. Way to steal my thunder, show off. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> it's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius. I'm sorry? Yeah, Andrew, this is actually a movie. Was my logic flawed? This is a, um... Oh, you were right. So, a movie version of the, the pre-smartphone phone MMO that was Japan exclusive, but also Even extremely important to the war. Traitor. Act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. <laughs> Does the master have a face? I don't know yet. Serb might know. I don't. <laughs> Trust no one but myself. You know, you know the Keyblade War is coming because there's litter now. Yeah, I was going to say, this this idyllic village has gotten uh, noticeably more shabby. <laughs> Clever, this is the first Kingdom Hearts content you've watched since one. Oh boy. Hate to say this, buddy. The books we were given are incomplete. There's a lost page. Lost page? Capitalized. On that page, it is written that there is a traitor. Hmm. The master told me to find and stop that person. I called you my comrade. Never again, Gula. It doesn't matter to me if you think I am the traitor and you want to strike me down. You knew there was a traitor and you just watched silently as we fought each other. And I won't forgive you for that. You can barely stay on your feet. Just give up already. Don't you underestimate me! <laughs> Uh-oh. Is Gula gluttony? You too, huh? In Portuguese? Really? That's cool. Normally they go for, like, Latin when they're trying to do something like that. They mixed them all up. That's neat. I actually genuinely really why? am impressed by that. Why did it have to come to this? Yeah, that's fair. me off and make it quick that's not what brought me here today I wish to fulfill the role bestowed upon me that's all it isn't our place to try to change the events of the future that is not our mission we are here to make sure that light lives on with only five lights, we can't afford to lose any. 
You still count me as one of the five lights? Of course. <laughs> Only you could be such a good guy after everything we've been through. But hey, I guess that's one of the reasons I respect you so much. However, we still might only be four. <laughs> I'm talking about Gula. He's using the knowledge of something called the Lost Page. Capital. He said that it contains events that are missing from all of our books. He's using it to discover and apprehend whoever is the traitor. Claims that's his role. But who knows when his real intentions are? <laughs> what I do know is that I'll never forgive him for hiding the fact that he knew someone would betray us. That's the biggest betrayal of all. I'd like to believe the Gula was simply carrying out his role. Asad, I'll deal with this matter. Please keep it to yourself for now. Understood. I need to see that lost page. Shots like this always make me think that like somebody's about to get like stabbed through the chest, you know? Why did you oh, tell that's Ira? Very spooky. It had to be you. Because you were the only one who knew where we were hiding. Didn't you think for a second that your actions could be making things worse than they already are? And why should that even bother you? Not only oh no, are we getting girl fights? But you've also gathered the finest Keyblade wielders from other unions, and you're training them in a secret location, aren't you? Yes, because that is my role! I had no idea. I apologize. I overstepped. No. I shouldn't have snapped at you either. You know, sir... I sort of get the sense what that this whole want? thing was kind of meant to cause infighting. Uh-oh. Exactly. Uh-oh. He just asked me to give up Gula. His eyes... They were... Scary. I was worried he'd do something awful. I knew I couldn't tell him where Gula was. Then... He turned around and walked away. I see. And Gula? How is he doing? I don't know. He's gone. Thank you. Thank you, Nightmare Cat. Take care of him. Also, clever, I missed that joke. That's exceptional. Ira? Is something wrong? I know Gula's here. What? Tell me where he is. But why? What are you going to do? So, None of your how did you know I knew where he was? Because you just told me, Fox Girl. What? I won't let you near him. It was a good so opportunity. Thank you. All right. I'll go. was here. He wanted me to give you up. I knew it. It's finally come to this. Come to what? Everyone wants to know about the lost page. The lost page? Yeah. 
It's a page the Master gave me. It doesn't exist in any of our books. It contains a passage about an inevitable betrayal. It talks about the one who bears the sigil. That's it. So, I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. My role is to find out who it is. I suspected a said and went to confront him. <laughs> what happened? Why are you telling me this, Gula? I have enough to think about keeping with the Master's teachings and my role. Always walking the straight and narrow. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. Everything in the passage is ambiguous at best. That's why. I need to find out. But how? By asking the Master. But he's not here anymore. I'm going to summon Kingdom Hearts. What? Then he'll have no choice but to come back. Summoning Kingdom Hearts is forbidden! That's exactly why! The only way to get him back is to break the rules. If things don't change, the entire world is doomed. But, in order to go through with it, I'll need Lux. I don't have nearly enough. You always do the right thing. Help me with this. I assume Lux I'm sorry. was like a uh I know you want the master to return. A thing you could get in the game. But you don't know how summoning Kingdom Hearts will affect the rest of the Yeah, world. you had to go around and collect light from missions the and master the forbid it for a reason story was that the I'm unions were can't help you. collecting um, Lux out of balance so they were all trying to keep collecting more so that they could stay in balance before they ended up fighting each other. Gotcha. May your heart be your guiding key. Uh, clever. Number seven is somewhere else. Hmm. Gula's on a mission to collect Lux. Uh, but there's something about X Super. That explains why Ased and Ira are as well. They're trying to maintain the balance. But that isn't the balance we were expected to keep. If everyone's collecting light solely for themselves, Keyblade wielders will oh, here's turn the thing against I just one said. another. Which will lead to the Keyblade War. We did it! And what's written in the book... All of it's the here. Light will expire. The first one. Indy, what are you going to do? I'll gather Lux, too. No matter what, the balance must be kept. Ava, you do the same. We must... Delay the inevitable. Yeah, so in the in the actual game, your union leader comes to you and they're just like, hey, uh, go collect more Lux because we need it and we're not telling you why. That would... Yep. And then the Keyblade War happens. Dun 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 dun. No, the Keyblade War is the plot of the backstory of the games. Yeah. Xehanort wants to make a second Keyblade War just to see what will happen. Yep. Because <laughs> the first Keyblade War annihilated the world and made the worlds. Turn singular into plural. What's written in the last page of the book is going to happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Clenched fists. That's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Oh no, I... <laughs> hope? I was like, yeah, this character. Master, what is it that you need And now do? Kingdom Hearts is saying... 
this character is the only one who Don't can protect the worlds. Forget the notion of universe. Which means that Find her suffering will be immeasurable. And create an entirely separate organization. Then, let the seeds of a dandelion. Let them fly to another world. Oh, I see. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand. She's the only one he doesn't do jokes. Today you're here oh, no. to continue with your training for our mission. Also, yeah, so at the end of the game, like your uh, completely original Kingdom Hearts character. Different. Oh uh, god, look at them. <laughs> Uh, joins the dandelions to escape the Keyblade War before it happens. You are our hope. <laughs> A war will soon wage. Those who strive to protect the light will turn their weapons on they their They had allies. the same expression all at once. That was terrifying. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how far I can guide all of you. What you must remember is that anyone can lose themselves to the darkness. However, there will be no winners. Everything will be lost. Except all of you who are the seeds of hope. It's okay. These golems the are barely comes, canon. <laughs> and there is war. You mustn't fight, but instead you must fly away from here to the world outside. This training is to help you fulfill this crucial task. The future is in all your hands. As is the world's light. May your hearts be your guiding key. <sighs> I'm trying to make like an Adam and Eve, Adam and Steve joke. But like... Oh, doing, doing, no. doing the jumbled letters plus X. No, it's okay. Thing. It's hard. It's uh, it's very hard. It's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Naturally, no name. Oh hey. No name. This appears to be number seven. Am I correct? Or not. That keyblade does Lucy's have an eye six. in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do you? No. Yeah, sure. I can count. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies. Bingo. The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome keyblade, and fulfilled your role. Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job. At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, the Master of Masters also voices Vaughn in Borderlands. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I'm like 90% sure. Temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Oh god, it is the soul edge, isn't it? Do I really it? have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. Uh-huh. Then, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is, you can never, ever open it. Great. Now I really want to know. <laughs> All right. I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. Peak Kingdom Hearts. 
But why? You'll but see. why? Peak Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I get the. I always get the feeling whenever they do something like that. That's a. We're gonna figure out what this is later, and it'll be really cool. But we don't know no. yet. No, no more enough. <laughs> May my heart be my guiding key. I think all the versions of Soul Calibur 2 had an exclusive character. Reconnect. Oh, that was it? That was the end. Wow, okay. Got some MMO boys up in here. That's right, Spawn! Fucking Spawn was in... And he didn't have his cape. It was garbage. Spawn is in everything. Now he is? We're in the Spawn Renaissance, dude. We're in the best oh. timeline if you don't count everything other than Spawn. <laughs> if you count everything other than Spawn, we're in the worst timeline. Mm -hmm. But, you know. So, what happens next? Uh, yes. chronologically, is that the Dandelions go to another world and survive the Keyblade War, which destroys the first world. Gotcha. And the currently online mobile smartphone game, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, covers the events that follow the Dandelions going to the new world. But it also covers a bunch of flashbacks where they cover a lot of this plot, too. Oh, okay. Um, and technically this all came out before um, Kingdom Hearts 3. So you can be told that uh, Ephemer? I think Ephemer is there. Uh, so, uh, th they had to pick new union leaders because the five disappear in the Keyblade War. Dun 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 dun. Yep. So they picked leaders from the Dandelions, gave each of them a book of prophecies. Uh, those characters who are mostly exclusive to that so far are Skuld, Ephemer, Brain, which is not a misspelling of Brian. Brain. Brain. It's it's not a misspelling. Like of Brian as as in the organ. Yeah. Okay. Um. Lorium. I'll leave that one for you to figure out. Wait, Lorium. And Ventus. Is it? Are we talking Lorem Ipsum? No. Will I be able to figure this out with my current knowledge? Uh, yeah. You know what? I'll just give you a picture of Lorium. Yeah. You have to remember I'm an idiot. Here you go. Let's see. Is that, uh... What's his name? Oh, I put the spelling in your Twitch chat. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Um, from, um, Chain of Memories. Also, uh, his Final sister Spraylipsia was murdered and we don't know who did it. Okay. Here, let me, uh... Let me uh, just throw this up on up on screen for a second. Oh, here you can throw this up on screen too. This is all those characters. Whoop. Okay. Let me Whoop. let me do that. Okay. Let me let me do that. Oh, thank you, okay. Twitch. Okay, here we go. Here's all the boys, 
and girls. Uh, so top so, left to bottom right, Lorium. Lorium is Marluxia, right? I'm. <laughs> the stories of Kingdom Hearts. Nomura Hearts has said Lorium oh, is Kingdom not Marluxia. Thank you, thank you. Uh, autoplay. Oh uh, yes, uh, Lor Lorium is not Marluxia. Um, because Lorium is Marluxia's somebody. Uh, hold on. Yep. You said the term somebody. Yeah, I sure did. That's a fanon term. I don't think they've said it in-game yet. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, <laughs> I have not encountered the term somebody yet. <laughs> um... No, that is, uh, Ponce, that is not Roxas. That is, uh, Ventus. That Ventus. By the way, this takes place 10,000 years before Kingdom Hearts 1. Also that. It's still Ventus, though. Yeah. Um, Ventus... The person, in the, the person in the coat is Darkness. We don't know who they are yet. This, this uh, person? Top, uh, top right? Top right. Okay. Bottom, uh, uh, middle left, Skull. Middle, Ephemer. Uh, on the right is Brain, and and that that Ventus on the bottom. They are the, uh, the they are the Union leaders of Union Cross, and they live in the world after the Keyblade War that we just saw the, the build up to. to. We we never I don't think we've ever seen the Keyblade War actually happen. We've only. Um, escaped the keyblade war and kind of seen era and friends fight each other yeah um, there was there was like the graveyard in um we've seen the results of the keyblade war and now yeah. we've seen the lead up to the keyblade war yeah uh, clever you really are on a roll tonight with these puns uh maleficent might do that also maleficent is here uh, she time traveled too. Of course she did. <laughs> Disney uh, Disney's got to get their representation in somehow. Because Union Cross explains how Maleficent resurrected. I just assume she re resurrected because she's Maleficent. No, nope. she's basically a lich. Not anymore. Works for she me. Directed with time travel and darkness. Um, and uh, there's some plot. Oh, so there's actually not a lot of plot in Union Cross, but basically all we know is that um, they went to a different world. It consists of doing something that has to do with going to sleep and going into dreaming worlds. Um, Okay. And the world they are in in Union Cross is not the world Kingdom Hearts 1 takes place in. Say that again? The world they are in in Union Cross is not the same world that Kingdom Hearts 1 through the rest of them takes place in. Okay. Uh and they know they avoided the Keyblade War, but they also know that another Great Darkness is coming, and they don't know what it is yet, and we haven't gotten there yet, because the game is still being actively updated. Um, MMOs, baby! Yeah. Lorium's sister, Strelitzia, was going to be one of these five, and she was murdered before the first Keyblade War. So somebody took her place, but nobody knows who the murderer or the replacement is yet. Except oh, now, boy. actually, latest update after Kingdom Hearts 3, we know who the replacement is, but you can't see that cutscene until after you play Kingdom Hearts 3. Nope. Order. <laughs> I, um, I still have... I only have one game to go before Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Yes, you do. Um, Aqua Story Time. Yeah. Um, big sad. I know that much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we, we know who the replacement for Strelitzia is. We don't know who her murderer is. Um, and that is basically all of the lore, uh, that we know from UX. Oh, also, uh, Relena is there too. 
you can probably figure out that one as well. Oh, you say that, but you don't know how bad I am with names. Uh, Relena. She is not one of the new union leaders, but she is around in that game and in that world state. You might have to just give me this one. I believe somebody in this chat room can figure it out. <laughs> I'm not giving it to you. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> See, here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts lore isn't bad. People exaggerate that. Sh it, it's just because, like... People who played one and two and people who played were, one and then immediately went to two. <laughs> and then we're like, now I'm gonna watch the trailer for Kingdom Hearts three. Wait, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Like if you if you play the games, it's it's not bad. It's just like up until uh the collections came out, the games were split across like seven consoles and handhelds. And they, they, uh, Nomura also really likes parallels between past and present. Yeah, he does. So you kind of have to suss out what is a parallel and what is actual time travel. Sometimes it's both. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is not hard to follow. There was like... Okay. There was, like, one plot point that was confusing in Kingdom Hearts 3, and then the DLC came out, and they had an entire five-minute cutscene where they explained, like, <laughs> from start to finish for a fifth grader what the fuck happened. <laughs> Thank you, Nomura. And it's like, okay. <laughs> um, this is, it, it was just Nomura going, like, uh, all right, listen here, idiots. But yeah, um, you're officially at the point in Kingdom Hearts where you have exactly two unknowns remaining. You've you've cleared every other unknown. And now you only don't know what's in the box and who the fuck is the master of masters. Congratulations. Now, to replicate the true experience, you have to go back in time and watch the cut, watch the teaser cutscene for Birth by Sleep, and then wait four years before playing Birth by Sleep. <laughs> uh. Hey, man. I watched I watched the trailer for Devil. Ma Excuse me, DMC Devil May Cry, and then waited like. Eight years to play Devil May Cry 5. <sighs> Shoutouts to Sniper Rifle Abortions. That doesn't happen in Kingdom Hearts. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you a Kingdom Hearts 3 spoiler, though. Okay, let's hear it. You remember the end of Pirates of the Caribbean, the Davy Jones part, where um, the where Navy Will... man walks down the stairs while it's exploding? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so um, in Kingdom Hearts 3, in the Pirates world, the Navy is the villain. So Sora, Donald, yes. and Goofy stand on Captain Jack's Black Pearl and say, Yeah, we did it! during that <laughs> oh no <laughs> Sora did a murder Donald Duck killed a man <laughs> multiple and he doubled his body count in Kingdom Hearts oh god versus uh, 13 There was a oh god. Goofy celebrated too, and so did Sora. Sora is the the purest uh, light we have. So true, true. There was a really good documentary. I think it was by was it Super Eye Patch Wolf. Uh, about like the development of uh, Final Fantasy fifteen, 
And it was really interesting because he went into all the history of like versus 13 and how that eventually turned into 15 kind of. Man. I'm I am like I love Nomura's work, but I'm very glad that I don't like I have not had the opportunity to get excited for it, any of his stuff before it comes out. Yep. Well, you're almost there. I know. It's terrible. Actually, let me let me check. I don't think there's been any news at all on the next thing. Um but Ooh, eyelash. Following Twitter, help me. Twitter, lend me your strength. Dark Road. I thought it was called Dark Path. Hey, listen. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. They have tweeted a couple times. They're using the same engine as Union Cross. That's Xehanort doing a, a, a colon three face. That is literally that. Uh, that came out on February 18th. I missed it. Uh, <laughs> High speed battles that use your reflexes to flex during combat. Oh, it's card based. <laughs> confirmed it. Oh, oh no. How Dude, do we I get zo- to team up with Ericus, though? How do I, I zoom in? How do I zoom in on this? You uh, hold the scroll, you hold control and scroll. I recognize that location. <laughs> Look at that good boy. That that good boy has definitely never done a murder. Also, Ponce. I, I don't think you're allowed to call him good in any context. No, I'm not. <laughs> good point. Ponce, you're forgetting. Yoko Taro has a very good rule for when his next video games come out. It's... I don't know, whenever they pay me to make a new thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that people are going to be able to play Replicant slash Gestalt. Because, like, that game was hard to find. Did they say what the release date on that port is? Because I have to go play near... Uh... Gestalt or Replicant, which are you? One I do have. you have Replicant or Gestalt? I have the American one. Gestalt. Okay. Okay. I need to play that before the internet decides to be spoiler boys for the entire fucking game because now it's cool to like it. Yeah. Um. I I don't know off the top of my head. I want to say they. I want to say they said it was like surprisingly soon, like May or something. But I am also. Okay. I feel like I'm just pulling that out of nowhere. Maybe I'll try to do it after Doom. I have, yeah, I, I have to get that out of the way because that it's gonna happen. People are just gonna start spewing it out into the internet, <laughs> and they'll say, "Ha ha, it's a remake." Uh, thank you, internet. Anyway, um, I will say that you did get the better version of the game. Well, I really character-wise, you got the better version of the game. I meant to say, I really hope we see Baby Yen Sid in Dark Road. Oh, God. Would Disney let that happen? I... Canonically, he should be there. (laughs) He is one of the trainees. He's the third member of the Keyblade crew. He's the third member of the Keyblade crew. That one. That, that if you have to specify that keyblade. that keyblade as in the the greek character key the greek character kai but kai Jan-Hart pronounces it as key because he thinks it's cooler that way don't forget he said that in birth by sleep like he's he yeah. literally said like it's pronounced kai but i like this version yeah boy japan loves wordplay like a lot, like an unhealthy amount. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I'm still really weirded out. I, like I'm going back to this, but I'm really weirded out that they chose to remake uh, Replicant instead of Gestalt. 
because I think uh, Gestalt... they're probably they're probably doing it because um. Okay, yeah, that about 9S. Yeah. Um, but also that they'll be able to sell it as the version of the game you never played before. Yes. And that is bound to boost their sales by at least 50%. Yes. They can technically say it was never released in America. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that story works better if you are uh, the dad instead of the brother, but... Either way, real good story, a lot of big, uh, big despairs. By the way, did I ever uh, mention to you uh, what Nier was birthed out of? Uh, yeah, it's one of the joke endings of Drakengard. Guard, yeah. I will play Drakengard eventually, too. Uh, <laughs> see, the problem is... Uh, oh, I know about Drakengard. Yeah, your first Yoko Taro game was uh, Automata, mm -hmm. which... Um, Automata was also the first one that I myself played, but the general consensus is Automata was kind of the first Yoko Taro game where people were able to say, yeah, this is a really good game, and didn't have to include the other than the hopefully he still continues to make good games as a result i like i mean he he has very strong writing techniques yeah he does that are pretty much applicable to like whatever story he decides to do like as long as he has the chance to like work out the whole story so, I have confidence. Also, I was thinking today again that we still haven't heard a peep from Sonic Team. No, we have not. In three years. <laughs> as, as long as, it, surely they are not, do not have the entire Sonic Team assigned to Sonic at the Olympics. Surely. Oh, God. Oh, God. Couldn't possibly oh God. <laughs> be the case. How have what have you brought on this what curse have you brought on this land? If 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 all reasonable outcome is true, there should have been an entire Sonic team since Force is doing something. Emphasis on should have been. Uh I just I hope I hope that they stop using Sonic Team as their, like, training grounds. Because apparently they were Is doing that, that for a while. That is... What the fuck else does Sega make? Like, that's the time. thing. They make a lot of shit. Like, it's just stuff that isn't necessarily, like, flagship stuff. Yeah. See, honestly, that was that's one of the reasons that I am okay with remakes occasionally. Like, um, they very public, like Capcom very publicly, well, not very publicly, but Capcom's leak protection is non-existent, and so literally just employees were like telling every game journalist who walked up to them. Oh yeah, the Devil May Cry HD collection is A, happening, and B, they're using it as, uh, like, training to make, uh, for the, for the newbies who are gonna be working on Devil May Cry 5. And then everybody went, wait, Devil May Cry, May Cry 5 is happening? And they went, uh, oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Never mind. Remember when, um, everybody said that, uh, Team Grezzo was gonna use the first Zelda game they remastered, and then the second Zelda game they remastered, and then the third <laughs> Zelda game they remastered, and then the fourth Zelda game they remastered as practice for making their own Zelda game? Hey, I man. They gotta be really good at it now. It It'll so happen eventually. No. Oh. 
Speaking of Sonic, though, I remembered I have something downloaded that I've been meaning to play on stream. That I think uh -oh. I'm gonna, I might launch into tonight. You do not have work tomorrow. I do have work, but I'm only gonna play for oh, like, okay. oh, it's like ten. I'll play for like half an hour. Well, yeah. So they announced Breath of the Wild too, but it's not coming this year because this year is just the 35th anniversary of Mario, which is important or something. Even though 35 isn't an important number. And they're just going to really, it's going to be the year of Port Mario. And maybe a Paper Mario. Maybe. That's uh, we're, at, we're at the point where I'm like, if they shadow dropped a Paper Mario, I would be scared. You know? Yeah. Like, I feel like if they shadow drop a Paper Mario, it's a, we did a weird experimental thing that we don't know if it's going to work or not, meaning it's probably not going to work, and we just want to throw it out there. Well, so there's been rumors that Paper Mario is going to be coming out for a while. Also, the same rumor included 2D Metroid, so um, it's probably bullshit, but the timing feels right, at least. Yeah. I know, I know, I think they are working on... They are working on a Paper Mario, because I did see very similar rumors. But they're also saying they're going to come out with Mario 64 and Sunshine and Galaxy and probably Galaxy 2 and 3D World. And that's I think Nintendo. that's like confirmed at this point. It's Nintendo, so those are going to come out separately for $60 each. Actually, I did once see... Every, once every two months. I did see today... You're not quite right on that. Galaxy 64 and uh, Sunshine are going to be in one pack altogether, and then 3D World is going to be its own thing. Which is still ridiculous, but, you I know. I almost believe that. I, I saw some article about that, and it was, like, from a reliable, like, Famitsu or something. Not Famitsu, but one of those, you know. I will believe that part when Nintendo announces it. Yes. Because the last time Nintendo released a pack was, what, Prime Trilogy? And they've well and truly proven they don't need a pack to sell them. Yeah. Video Game Chronicle was saying that hmm interesting okay um i am gonna i think make myself a cup of tea real quick okay and then i am gonna hop into a uh, a Sonic game that some of you probably haven't... Serb, I know I, I've mentioned this game to you before, but I don't think I've mentioned it to, like, anyone else here. But I'm going to launch into that for, like, half an hour. I got to sleep, so... Fair enough. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I should be doing that, but I'm not going to. I pushed my alarm back by an hour today. And that was a, that was a quarantine mistake. But I'm um, doing it anyway. My my entire waking up schedule is like an hour and a half later than it used to be, and it can be because I just have to turn on the laptop to start work. Wow, it's almost like working from home was 100% the better option this whole time and I don't need to. <laughs> you know, you know my opinions. We have the same opinion on this. He scream. He scream. All right. Well, I will let you go then. Bye, classy stream. Bye. We'll miss you. Do good sleeps. Don't you puke at me. All right. Um...
That was weird. Discord didn't make the usual noises that... Oh, streamer mode. Duh. All right. Uh, serve you the best. Love you. Have a good night. Um, I'm going to go to BRB for just a second, and then I will be right back. That's what BRB stands for. God. Mm. It's that time of the night. It's that time of the night, everybody. Grab yourselves a cup of tea. Get cozy. We're doing we're doing fun stuff tonight. I will be back in just a moment. My god, you've guessed it. You've guessed it. It was Shadow the Hedgehog. No, I'm kidding. Uh, all right. <laughs> None of your guesses have been correct so far. Uh, I am going to This is this is an interesting one. I'm going to I'm going to keep myself on um da -da -da -da, on my nope. Um actually wait. Where's the scene transition button? Okay, here we go. Um I'm going to keep myself on the BRB screen for just a second while I get this set up. I'm going to try this this game. This game is a little weird. So I have to kind of I'm going to mute my desktop audio for a second too. Uh because I want to make sure I can uh capture this correctly. Nope, stop. Oh, oh lord. Please please do not Uh, okay, let's go to options. Dun bum, da -da -bum. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I might be able to do this. Let's see here. Properties. Capture specific window. Oh, the last game I had captured here was uh, Sonic 3D Blast. That's great. All right. Let's see if it captures this. Uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna transition. Oh, whoop! Stop that. Where's the transition button? Is it gonna capture? No, it's not. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna have to do a uh, window capture or display capture then. Uh, give me one second here. Did Katie actually play Chow Garden the other day? Yes, she did. Uh, she has a Chow, gar chow going. Uh, it's um, a, uh, what do you call it? I forget what I'm trying to say here, my god. Oh, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Okay, live scene. Display capture. Unhide that. And we're going to go to properties. We're going to go to display one. Yes, don't capture my mouse cursor, please. Thank you. Okay. And we're also going to have to go to transform. Do, 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 do. Fit to screen. Okay. Let me let me just real quick make sure I uh I close uh everything that's not, you know, not necessarily embarrassing, but you know. I don't want you guys knowing too much about me. Just kidding. Okay. All right, fam. So, here we go. On my screen that I'm about to show, there is going to be a neat little thing that is a Sonic fan game. Now there's some interesting stuff going on here. What you are about to see is a Sonic fan game. Yep, this is the, this is this is made by Sonic Team Jr. Stevie, welcome. Oh, I should um I should quickly uh real quick Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna restart this real quick. I hecked up. I should change uh, the game I'm streaming at. Ba -ba -da -bum. Uh, dashboard, dashboard, dashboard. Creator dashboard. <sighs> Welcome, friends. Oh, I still have. <laughs> Whoops. I still have a. Uh... Oh god, how do I how do I change my game? Twitch changed everything since last I was streaming. How do I uh, well, How do I like edit my title and stuff? What the hell? Oh god. Jesus Christ, Twitch. <laughs> okay. Uh Well, edit stream? What? I don't even know. Huh. Edit stream info. Here we go. We got it. Thank you, Stevie. Oh, boy. 
So um, category. This is no longer Kingdom Hearts 2. This is a little game called Sonic Roboblast 2. And we are going to play real quick. Just a little bit, just a little bit of Sonic Roboblast 2. This is a Sonic fan game made in the Doom engine. Not Doom Eternal. Like original, like old Doom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this cutscene play out. I've seen this. Um it's a pretty standard Sonic story. Fat Man does bad things to animals. Beat up Fat Man. Can I? Uh, I'm not sure if I can. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't know if I can speed up the text or not. Stop animal abuse. By the way, Stevie, how was your stream? I saw that you went live, but I was I was in the thralls of Kingdom Hearts. Also, please let me know how. Well, I was gonna say, please let me know how the audio is, but I don't know if there's much I can do about the audio at the moment. I might be able to do this. Does this actually... Let's get it up to an even 50. Yeah, that looks good. Oh wait, no, actually that's a little loud. I gotta, I gotta be able to talk over the video game. There we go. That looks good. Perfect. No good fishes. Stevie, I, I missed the, uh, oh, the one fish. What was it? Hold on. Actually, I should turn my lights up a little bit. It's getting a little, a little dark in here, and I should turn off my kitchen lights. There we go. I will say this, um... This intro is a little long. Your flip of Chip. Uh, is Chip the one who buys fishes? Yeah, oh, oh, CJ. Yes, yes I did. Stevie, CJ has not showed up on my island yet. I did not know he was a thing. I need those bells, man. I need those bells. What was the um, the fish I needed? I need a string fish, and they stopped appearing as of 9 p.m. tonight. So I gotta wait a little, a little while. Oh, I should, by the way, give a general. I apologize, I forgot. I should give a general epilepsy warning. There's a couple cutscenes that flash. The game itself is fine, but there's a couple cutscenes that flash. I didn't know there was a flick either. Heck. Oh, clever. Welcome to the wonderful world of Animal Crossing. Oh, leaving Sonic and Tails behind, Tails looked at the once perfect mountainside with grim fate with a grim face inside. Sorry, I'm, I, I just realized I'm cutting off a little bit of the text there, like in that that area. Also, Stevie, New Horizons is my first Animal Crossing game since Wild World on the DS. Not the 3DS, the DS. It's very good to be back. Alright, standard Sonic plot, get Chaos Emerald, go. Indeed I did not. I did not play the original on the GameCube either. 
before uh, New Horizons, Wild World was the only Animal Crossing that I actually played. Ladies and germs, welcome to Sonic Robo Blast 2. Now, as I mentioned, this is a game in the Doom engine. And, uh, hey, I may have a, a file started already. I'm only in the first level, don't worry. Oh, uh, Andrew, this, this game has 10 years of love put into it. So we're gonna start a new game. And hey, look at this. We get to choose characters. Y'all remember Sonic 3 and Knuckles? We get the exact same selection. Sonic and Tails, Sonic, Tails, or Knuckles. And of course we're going Sonic and Tails. You say that, but hi. Welcome to Greenflower Field. So, this is a weird one, because it's played with keyboard and mouse. So, here's me going through WASD. You, 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 the camera stays in place, and you move in each direction. And, uh, if you move, the mouse controls the camera. And there's a boy. And then we hit the boy. So, real quick. We got our spin dashes. We got our, they call it the speed thwock because it makes a thwock noise. Uh, how's the audio, by the way? It looks like it might be a little loud, but I'm not sure. Also, neat little thing. Animals follow, follow you around after you rescue them. It's neat. Uh, we got our spin dashes, speed thwocks. Woo! Uh, oh, it's a bit loud? Okay. Do, do, do. Let's see, how is this? Don't you dare, I see you coming for me. And of course, perfect, fantastic. Since we got Tails with us, we can do that. And acquire some new heights. But also don't get those ones, because those are bad, and they will hurt you. Okay. So. I think I'm just going to get going here. This game is absolutely rad. Um, hope y'all don't get motion sick. Because this game also moves real fast. Where are the demons? Hey, man. I will say that this game goes uh, real, f it goes places. Uh, also, we got different types of shields with all different abilities. You see these boys back here? I got a, I got a nuke shield. Yeah. So, Tails, would you uh, do me a favor here real quick? Thank you, Tails. Oh, what was that? You saw that, right, guys? Hmm. Whoa, a little emblem. Wonder what that will do. And of course, Tails gets tired. As is tradition. Whoop. But yeah, this is the... Uh, my dudes, this is Sonic Robo Blast 2, and uh, by the way, this game is free. Uh, you can just download this. Uh, I will post a link in the chat later. Woo! Sometimes the camera does heck up a little bit. But yeah, you, you can get going in this video game. Oh, and there's a neat little thing where you skip across the water, too. I forgot about that. Um, but also, I should mention, this is a classic Sonic game. There is, there are water sections. Um, meaning, you get this, unfortunately. Video game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's never a fun noise. I always like the idea of setting that 
little jingle as uh, your... What was that? Okay, I don't actually know what that emblem does. That first one I picked up, I do know what that does. Don't know what that second one does. Um... Yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Also, classic checkpoints, of course. Uh, every third Saturday... Ah, heck. Butts it. Ooh, 1.5 times the bells, not bad. Okay, well, I hacked that up. Well. Well. Anyways, here's the end of the level, of course. Now, um, I should also ask, uh, since some of you are probably classic Sega fans, any of you play uh, a little game called Knights in the Dreams? Because, hey, Guess what the special stages in this game are? It's a combination of Blue Spear and Nights into Dreams, baby! Oh wait, gotta get the... Yeah, there we go. If you draw rings around the, uh... The stuff, they, uh... Collects all of them at once. It's great. Yeah, baby! We got nights going on in here. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Gotta go up here. Get all of them. Woo! Uh. Okay, and just like that, we got ourselves an emerald. So we just gotta make the goal, and there we go. Oh man. Yeah, the pinball board in Sonic Adventure, where you got to get, like, knights to show up, that was the best, man. Also, this game's soundtrack is phenomenal. Um, I should shout out, um... He was not, uh, the one who introduced me to this game, but Wooly Versus on Twitch and YouTube is, uh, currently doing a... a playthrough of this. Uh, and, yeah. It's great, man. Go, go... Show Wooly some love. Wooly is the best. Heck. Heck. Tails. Oh, wait. So there's a neat thing. I'll try to show it off. Yeah, you can see it for a second there. Um, Sonic's like falling animation after he goes off of spring is the same as the animation from the opening of Sonic CD, and it's great. It's... Uh, so, it does take some getting used to, I won't lie there. But, like... I think... Part of it is I think I need to lower my mouse sensitivity a little bit, and it just takes some getting used to. Also, this soundtrack, I know I said it before, but man, real good. Oh, 
Almost had it. This is definitely like one of the Sonic games where it's like... It, it pays to learn the levels a bit. Because then you start getting the ridiculous speed and you know, you know exactly where everything is and you get... You know, you get to just blast through everything. It's great. Oh, look at that in the background. I love this game. Ooh. Well, heck that up. Is not supposed to be holding forward there. I think I missed the uh, special stage token. Hey Tails, what's up here? I love the old school Tails like helicopter sound effect. There's something about it that's just very, I don't know, classic to me. Oh, Stevie, you haven't seen it yet? I am I am proud to say that I, uh, I saw the Sonic the Hedgehog movie on release, on Valentine's Day, on a date, and it was absolutely the last date I had with that person. <laughs> oh. Story. Like, I'm, I'm gonna treasure that story forever. Stevie, that is the quarantine world that we live in right now. And, uh, hey, you know what every, uh, every Sonic game also has? Boss battles. I'm curious, can I beat Robotnik one handed? Apparently not. Apparently I'm terrible. I'm showing up like pro gamer moves. Who wouldn't want to beat me? With pro moves like these. Oh no, he's got more. We did it. One-handed. Man, I'm cool. Yeah. Whoa. It's a fan game. There's a little, a couple graphical hitches here and there. Thank you, Stevie. I know it. And hey. Remember how you guys were like banger alert last time? Hey, guess what there is in this one too? Oh, also I should mention that all of the different characters have their own like special moves. Like Sonic has the, it's not homing, but the speed walk. Um, Tails, of course, has flight. And uh, Knuckles has glide, punch, and uh, punch through wall. So like, this is a real Sonic game, my dude. Great. Did Death Stranding come to PC yet? Not yet. So I still have, I, I'm yet to play Death Stranding. I have, I have been, I've received tangential exposure to it. Um. Yo, KRT, what's up? 
You in the you in the market for some Sonic fan games, my dude? Oh heck, I fricked it. Oh wait, no, this is Jello. I can run on it. It's all good. Oh, KRT, you missed the story that, uh, I feel like you of all people would appreciate. I fricked it. Uh, oh, y yeah. Stevie, I know, I know very few things about it. Um, I know, I've been told it's peak Kojima. I've been told we get things, uh, as wonderful as, uh, the S in strand stands for strand. Thank you, genius Kojumbo. Oh yeah, um, the story that you would appreciate uh, involved the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, uh, which I saw on release on Valentine's Day on a date, and it was definitely my last date with that person. <laughs> Great. Okay, that movie was actually way better than it had any right to be. Like, I expected to go in and be like, yeah, I'm gonna like this because, you know, it's me. I have tastes in movies. But like, no, that movie was actually, like, it's not gonna win any awards or anything, but you know, it was a decent, like, you know, fun movie. Jim Carrey did a very good Jim Carrey. Uh, Teddy from Westworld was very much not Teddy from Westworld. moving. Be on the lookout for uh, special stage tokens, friends. I don't know where they, I don't know where they lurk. This is the Sonic 3D Blast Shield. Yeah, I already know about this. Now we actually have a homing attack. Which, by the way, that's one of the things I want to play on stream at some point. Oh, frick. We hacked it. We jelloed it. Boink. Oh, yeah. So I will likely call it here after this, uh... Andrew! <laughs> Andrew! I feel like I have so many stories of you injuring yourself. Half of them were told to me by your mom. And I don't mean that in like a... Like a, like a... You know... Uh, Kamiya, ask your mom kind of way. I mean that in a, like, no, your mom really enjoys the stories of you injuring yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Tails. Thank you for your service. <laughs> you 
no shame. Dude, you gotta lean into it. Like, that's, that's my whole trick with surviving my existence on this mortal coil. Oh god. I've been having- Y'all, I've been having some real bad existential dread lately. That's what you come here for this stream. Come to this stream for, right? Animal Crossing has been distracting me. Stevie, you say that, but... Mm. Stevie, you... Okay. So I'm probably gonna call it right there. Stevie. Lately, my existential dread has taken the form of, like, me lying in bed at night and going like, Oh my god, I'm 30! And then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not 30. But I will be! Ah! That's where my existential dread is. Mm. Thank you, brain. Okay. <laughs> So, fun story about that, Stevie. My therapist hates me because, like, I will tell my therapist about, like, you know, anxiety that I have, usually revolving around, like, existential dread type stuff. And she'll mention, like, okay, but you seem really good at, like, why is, why is this thing impacting you because like you seem you you get existential dread from unusual stuff you don't get existential dread from the usual stuff so why are you able why are you good at like handling the normal stuff and not handling the, the it's climate change why are you why are you not good at handling climate change and i'm like well because the normal stuff doesn't affect me like Aging doesn't matter because I'm I'm never going to die. I'm immortal. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, denial solves that problem. <laughs> yeah, Andrew, that's where I'm at. I don't know something about 25 specifically was like the oh I can't round down anymore. But yeah, my, my therapist and I have had arguments over my usual coping mechanism of denial. Ugh. Ugh. Stevie, I always forget that you aren't in college yet. I always, for, I thought you were a freshman at this point. I guess I'm wrong. Stevie, I will put it this way. You have, you have good enough hot takes on life and the dreaded politics that I'm like, oh yeah, Stevie's like, Stevie's got it figured out. Definitely not biased because we see eye to eye on a lot of things. <laughs> uh. Anyways, I am probably gonna call it there for tonight. Um, I'm definitely, I, I want to continue, I need to finish Beautiful Joe, but I also, um, fun story, y'all. I reinstalled Windows, I, I mentioned this while Serve was on earlier, uh, but I reinstalled Windows, uh, probably two, two, three weeks ago, and I just used Windows, like, default refresh option. Um, and 
all that did was Windows deleted my bootloader and nothing else. So I had to completely reformat my hard drive, actually all my hard drives, uh, because I could... Programmers in the 60s didn't know what they were doing and were still suffering from it. If you all know what EFI is, there was a difference in EFI, so I had to format all of my hard drives so I could uh, set them to GPT. Is it GPT? I think GPT. Um, so, I backed up most of my important stuff, but I lost uh, my saves for my GameCube games that I have on my very legitimate GameCube that just happens to be a virtual GameCube. I digitized it, I scanned it. Uh, so I do need to go back and play Beautiful Joe and finish it. Um, I need to play this, I need to play Sonic 3D Blast. Um, I got heated in mini stream last night because people were saying like, oh, the Genesis version of Sonic 3D Blast, and they're wrong. The Genesis version of Sonic 3D Blast is the objectively worst version because the PC slash Saturn version, mm, choicest of music. Anyways, I think that's where I'm gonna call things for tonight because I'm clearly like losing my mind already. I need to get sleep. No, you know what this was? You know what the existential dread is coming from? Sorry, this is a therapy session now. This is classy therapy. It's from, okay, we got a quarantine. Uh-oh, uh-oh, nothing has changed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I need to make some changes in my life so that like I actually hang out with people more often. It's like, I don't do that enough. <laughs> so yeah, once once this whole quarantine thing is is over and done with, we're all hanging out. That's gonna happen. People are going to the beaches. I know that's a a thing in in uh, Death Stranding. Anyways. You all get some sleep because I definitely need to. Uh, all of you have a fantastic evening. Uh, take care of yourselves. Seriously, do take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Um, make sure your loved ones stay healthy. As much as as much as I'm like, ah, oh, cool. This virus is doing good things for nature. I prefer that we do the good things for nature without them. Tens of hundreds of thousands of deaths. That's, that part sucks. Like, real bad. So, yes, what Clever said. All right, everybody, have a good night. Take care. Eat well. Make sure you get exercise. Drink water. Don't go stir crazy. Love you all. Have a great night.